I have always and always said I would continue to educate you people. <laughs> it will, you, will ne you, will never, you will never outgrow me getting to educate you and give you more knowledge as you grow up in this field. <laughs> I don't know if you were paying attention, but while all of that was going, I was sleeping. My eyes, my eyes might not be open, <laughs> but I guarantee you that I was not here. Every time we were here, come here, then you did it. Please education. This is Crossfire. My name is Farouk, and as usual, I have with me Tunde and Tosin. Arsenal are currently the, looking like a runaway leaders of the Premier League, but people still believe Man City will catch them. So we're asking our guys, Tunde and Tosi, who they think would win if Arsenal would end up the champions or Man City would be able to catch them. So Tunde, who do you think would win the Premier League? Um, I already made one mistake. I'm not going to make it a second time because for me once, shame on you. But fool me twice. Hmm. We we'll have to let the chopper sing. And I'm, I'm, last time I, on this show, I, I, I spoke ill about the mighty gunners. The, the, <laughs> the, the mighty machine of Mikel Ateta. I'm here to say, I've, I've, I've not one to always, to always apologize. But I've seen, I've seen the error of my ways. This Arsenal team might well go down as one of the best Arsenal teams we have ever seen. And the, this is a club that has a history of winning the league on beating 50 points after 19 games even Manchester City did not have it this dominant so um for me for me who is going to win the league i feel like we have to pay homage to to Manchester united the title race from january 15 to january 22. <laughs> 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 he did not do that, that. the topic is after Manchester. long live the Manchester united title race I mean. Long, <laughs> gone but not forgotten. <laughs> January 15 to January 22, one week. What's the talk? What's the law? Uh, we saw the way Arsenal ran United again. If my Arsenal faced Man City today, Arsenal will whoop Man City. Arsenal, Arsenal has three games coming up against Man City this season, so we have, we have plenty of time to see that happen. But we've seen who the better side of it in, 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 in the league is. 16 games won. Two draws, one defeat. Only dropped seven points the entire season. That's that, that's ridiculous. And I have to cut my cap for Mikel Arteta and say, never again shall I speak in of your team. Tosi, so do you think Man City can catch us now and um, end up clinching the Premier League title? Be before I, I give you my words of wisdom on this program, <laughs> I have always and always said, I would continue to educate you people. <laughs> it will, you, will ne you, will never, you will never outgrow me getting to educate you and give you more knowledge as you grow up in this field but your apology last week i told you that arsenal will beat manchester united you did, you did, i did, you did that. It, i see these are the things after a cumulative 10 years in this business with my experience i've been able to deduce but but that's that's a that's a that's a different story for another day now let's go into the crooks of arsenal and Manchester United in the title race. Manchester City. Manchester City and, As and Arsenal in the title race. This Manchester City side is aiming for one thing that only Manchester United have done, and that is to win the Premier League three times in a row. Mm -hmm. You understand? Now, a lot of people, there's been argument that this Manchester City team is not as good as last team, but how is this Manchester City not as good as last year when they already have Eddie Haaland, who already has 25 goals this season? Now, and this is going to be the, the difference in the title race. You understand? The reason why I picked Arsenal to beat Manchester United is three things. Because Manchester United, they are just Manchester United. Two, Manchester United played three days earlier in that game. Manchester, Arsenal actually had eight days of rest compared to Manchester United having two days of rest. You see these things, there are things that you pick up as you grow up. You understand? So those are the things that I actually, we analyze. I I mean, today's so uh, make that correction. <laughs> <laughs> and those are the things you continue to, you understand, you continue to feed yourself and continue to grow and develop as, as, as this show continues to grow. Yes, and so when we look at the overall perspective of the Premier League, you understand, this Arsenal team, once the game start coming thick and fast, thick and fast, Eddie Nketiah is calling now. When he has to play on Thursday and he has to play on Sunday, you understand, when the games come thick and fast, you understand, do you know Arsenal's problem? What I hear Arsenal's problem is going to lie. It's actually going to lie in the games against Everton. You understand? In the games against Wolves. You understand? Those games that are actually relegation determined. Manchester City know that we have a specific goal scorer, Erling Haaland, who will deliver. You understand? That is where the absence of Arsenal's title pedigree will come into play. You understand? And that is why Manchester City will be Premier League champions. I love Arsenal. I predicted that they would beat Manchester United last week. But Arsenal, 
you understand, will fall short compared to Manchester City. See, as as Tosin said, eh, yeah, he, he, he has gotten the better of you. Like he did warn you last week, and like, don't you think you should like listen to him when he speaks? When like this is not the first time or the second time he has corrected you on this show after you've been wrong a week before. I don't know if you were paying attention, but while all of that was going, on, I was sleeping. <laughs> my eyes, my eyes might have been open, <laughs> but I guarantee you that I was not here. Every time we were come here, the minister of education, because even a broken clock is right twice a day. Mm. So I tell you, because you successfully predicted that that's not with this much that that does not mean you are one football savant talking about ten years of experience. Who cares? Who cares how, how old you are? <laughs> the point is. From the rubbish that you have just said, that he said, Where is your life for us now? Is that they will, they will lose to Everton? Have you seen Everton play football? I said, Everton indeed. cannot beat Paul Sport FC. I said, Everton, indeed. see, Everton do not have a player that is better than Farouk. <laughs> yeah, yeah, then yeah, it's a life. Yeah, yeah, in yeah, those I games, I said, I said, Everton, do, I said the relegation I games, the relegation games, Everton was just a name. You, I, you, uh, look, mm. I, I know, I know you are mathematically challenged. So mm. let me let me break it down the easiest way. Mm. As now I've played 19 games. Yeah. There are 20 teams in the league. Yeah. The 20th team is Asna. They cannot play themselves. Yeah. <laughs> so that means the 19 games, they play everybody else. <laughs> they still want to play everybody again. <laughs> what are you talking? See? Eh? They've played everybody once. What are uh, which means two days. Two days. So when, 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 when you were giving your when you were giving your your confused thoughts, mm. I let you give it. So listen. So, if they played everybody in the league but why that's the, and they still somehow have only dropped seven points. If they played on everybody once, I mean, what is that giving the chance that when they go back around, it is Wolves. Wolves, who, by the way, as we speak, have only scored 12 goals in the entire league season. Wolves. Wolves are the least, are, are the worst, have the worst attack in Premier League. 12 goals after 20 games. They, you call Everton, the two teams you call, Wolves are Everton. They have the two worst attack in the league. Where Everton has 15 goals in 20 games, Wolves has 12 goals in 20 games. Aye. Those are the things that will beat us. Tony, Tony, I think uh, Tosin is trying to say that you did not get his points. He doesn't have a point. Let's give him an opportunity to like clear the air. Like, he seems to like doing that. Tosin, Tony has, like, let me speak like he would. He has missed his way. Please set him right. If I was a breastfeeding mother. <laughs> <laughs> If I was a breastfeeding what mother, what are we doing here? the lactose in my breast would have been dried up <laughs> from trying to feed you consistently. <laughs> but that's neither here nor there. When I was on this show, you are not deaf, you are not deaf. I specifically told you that the relegation teams like Everton and those are teams in the relegation. Oh, so like now, at that point in the season, they'll be in relegation. In the relegation, you, the releg you understand? So now, when, I, when you say that, when I say they are going to drop points against Everton and Wolves, and you're telling me that they can't score goals, do you need to score goals to drop points? Is a 0 0 draw? Is it not dropping points? Is that not two points dropped? This thing I keep telling you when it comes to the football, come and take your extracurricular lessons from me. I will give it to you. You understand? These are the things I'm trying to educate you on. You understand? Do you understand what I'm saying? Did I break it down for you? Yeah, yeah. As soft as custard, Abby. Okay, fine. Now let's go to. I told him not to say to that. <laughs> I I should not say to that. Man. He caught me on that way. Like. <laughs> but 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 let's now go to the to the nitty gritty of, of of the action in the pitch. You understand? And when I tell you that, okay, because they've beaten majority of the teams, the first go around doesn't mean they'll beat the majority of the teams second go around. It is a good thing that they've tried to fortify the team as well as possible but still it's not as good or as deep as Manchester City and Manchester City play on Tuesday Wednesday midweek in the Champions League compared to Arsenal that play on Thursdays you understand there's a difference in the quick shift playing in Albania mm -hmm. and coming, coming back, back to England playing in Uzbekistan coming back to England you understand uh, uh, today today, so, is, today wait, just wait, today is cooking on the seat and he wants to reply you but that is that is all we have for today you will just have to join us next week to hear more of today's thoughts and Tosin's counters thank you very much for joining us um, see you again next week